Welcome to Programming Knowledge. So this is the 15th tutorial of our Django series. So I again welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So hey guys, this is the GitHub link of our repository. You can download this pro uh, repository, clone this uh, repository. I have defined below the instructions how you can run the project on a local machine. Uh, like this is the 15th tutorial. Uh, you can refer to the 14th tutorial. This would be in the continuation to that. So basically, in the 14 tutorial, we used to request a uh, uh, we 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 used to make a get request to render a form. Then we used to make a post request to submit the form. Then on the basis of that, we used to have alerts. Either is it it is a success or a error. Okay. Basically, in this one, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to that there can be multiple errors in the form. So like post, we, uh, I'll add a new entry to this, uh, and the entry would be email. Okay, so here uh, I'll give it as a title as email. Yeah, so email is a new title to my form. Uh, sorry, uh, email is a new uh, uh, field added to my form. Okay, now uh, in views.py file, I'll also request email is equal to request dot post and I'll take email as a parameter so here you can see that in my forms.py I added a new field email if forms.car field labels equal to email and in, in in the very same way it was a text input okay then I uh, requested for email okay now what I'll do uh, here we are trying to see that there can be multiple errors on the page so what we are going to do i'll define an error flag error flag which should be false in the beginning so what we are going to do so first if title is not equal to title dot upper so i'll quickly remove all this uh, uh, so what we are I'm basically trying to convey the idea that there can be multiple errors so if title is not equal to title or upper then error flag is equal to true that error is there okay and errors error message is equal to title should be in capital but this time uh, one thing I'm going to change that errors is an, is an array or what you say a list dot append error message okay so this is fine uh, in the same way what I'm going to try to do that uh, so here you can see uh, that this is an extension to the uh, previous tutorial so what I'm trying to define here I'll define a reg regular expression regex okay and so basically this regex is used to define the email address so here you can see a dot symbol with the at the rate symbols uh, so what I'm going to do regex okay so basically uh, I have my email if not uh, so before this uh, I need to define an import import re so this is a default library in python to use re regular expression so what i'm going to do uh, i have my uh, uh, i have imported the library regex is there email is there so if not regex sorry re dot search so search is used to determine the match the regex pattern regex comma email okay if this happens then what I'm going to do yes error flag will remain true error flag will remain true and uh, errors dot append error message will come but this time the error message would change the error message would be error message is equal to not a valid email address okay so basically I'm trying to convey the idea that uh, uh, there's an error sorry uh, so I'll remove this line if not re okay 
so basically i'm trying to convey that idea that if the if title is not equal to title or upper that error flag remains true error message would be this and this would be dependent uh, this would be appended in the errors list okay yeah good then i made a, a, a logical uh, i made a, a if condition which state logically that uh, if this is not a match or a search then error flag will remain true correct and error message will be not a valid email address and that would this would be appended in the errors list okay okay new condition would be next condition if if error error flag is not equal to true if error flag is not equal to true so this is the third if condition but this all if, if else condition depends on your logic part how you can make them uh, to be on easy way i'm making in such a way if error flag is not equal to true that there was no error means error flag uh, uh, is not equal to true then success is equal to true and success message is equal to form submitted okay so now what i'm going to do i would render this to my form 2.html okay but i'll i'll give a quick overview if title is not equal to title.upper then then if not regex dot search if error flag is not equal to true then this return render request my form dot to dot html context is equal to my dictionary so this would help me out in this so uh but before this i need to update my dictionary my dictionary is equal to i'll uh, update my dictionary my dictionary of error is equal to error flag and my dictionary of errors is equal to errors okay so this is fine so uh uh so i would make a, uh i would uh, so now this would render uh, my dictionary to my form 2.html okay okay uh, before this what we can do now i would move to my form 2.html so basically uh, in advance i have done this if uh uh if error is equal to true yes for error in errors you need to print this error uh, this for loop would end and this if condition would end okay so i would restart my server python manage.py run server so when i make a get request to my form so here you can see an email has been added okay uh, i'll make a title test okay i'll keep keep this in lower case test title test subject test mail but this is not an valid email address so here you can see title should be in capital and not a valid email address okay uh i'll make this test title uh, i'll make this in capital test title test subject and test mail so this time the title is valid but the email is not valid so it should return me only this error let's submit this form yes it says not a valid email address only so test title test subject test user at the rate mail dot com so it says form submitted so i uh, i have gone uh, through all the test cases my form has passed so with this you can see that how the logic works so basically uh, in the template part what i am trying to do was if error is equal to true for if for error it errors so basically i'll move to my views.py file here you can see my errors was this error array which i had made 
and this was the error flag so basically even what you can do also print my dictionary so this would help you to get a better idea test title test and test mail so so it says not a valid email address okay and uh, what it says yeah here you can see the dictionary is like this the errors has not a valid email uh, uh, error not a valid email address and error is true so they they hey they hey this is how you can uh, work with this so thank you guys thank you so much so you can test with multiple test cases and it will help you to understand the logic part so thank you guys i'll catch up in the next lecture thank you guys thank you so much